I first discovered I had cancer um, back in 2010. Uh, I've had a very small mole that was um, on my right knee and it, it was really nondescript. Unfortunately, the biopsy confirmed that it was malignant melanoma. Radio and chemotherapy aren't really um, suitable for treating melanoma. They, they found that it, it didn't really work as well as they'd hoped. So at that stage, I was really told that the only thing I could do was to wait. I, I was so devastated after being diagnosed with stage 3 melanoma, um, realising just how serious that situation was. Uh, I was only um, really given about 20% chance of survival for the first two years. I was then offered at that, at that point in time to go on a clinical trial, and, and that really did give me hope. So I was very, very pleased that I was, um, I was being treated at Southampton because I knew I was in the best and the most capable of hands. So it's been five years now since I was first initially diagnosed with a cancer and it's been four years since I actually started the treatment. Looking back, it's gone so quickly um, and really positive about the future now. It's just completely changed my prognosis and my, certainly my outlook on life. Um, very, very positive. I actually think more about what I'm going to be doing in five, ten, 30 years time, whereas before it was a very, very short-term view on what was going to be happening in the future. It was, it was interesting, when I was um, diagnosed with cancer, we were living in a, a lovely village, but I'd always really wanted to live in the countryside. And we have now just recently bought a beautiful cottage that's right next to the Salisbury Plain, which enables us to just go out and just do the everyday things, go running and cycling, and be given an opportunity to, to potentially save my life. Um, and that was an incredible feeling.